Google just launched VO2 on FreePick AI and it is absolutely insane. This is by far the number one AI video generator in 2025 and it does way more than that. And the best part about this is that you need to act fast because the first 10,000 people that sign up are going to get access to this for free. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to access it, how to correctly prompt it, and tons of different examples of how you could actually use this tool. So first and foremost, here's how you're actually going to access this tool. You literally just come to freepick.com, you are going to log in to the AI suite, and then you'll be able to see that you can generate images, you can generate videos, you could reimagine images, we could upscale them, expand them, retouch them, change the background. You can do a bunch of stuff on this tool. But if you want to be able to access VO2, and this is the only way to be able to access it right now, you need to come in and generate videos. You need to click on go right here. And then it's going to start in this high quality right here. But what you will be able to do is click on custom right here and then come over here and you will be able to choose different models. For example, you could choose Google's VO2. There's the Minimax model. There's Minimax Director. There's Runway Gen 3. There's Pika 2 Ingredient there's Kling 1.6, but Google VO2 is by far the best. This is best in class quality and it has insane realism. In fact, before I actually started recording this video, I just prompted it and said, I want a video of a chameleon that is constantly in a new background and he's adapting to the color of his background. This should be as trippy as humanly possible. Now look at what this actually created. If we come into my creations right here, we will be able to watch this video right here, which is pretty nuts. This is insane. The background is constantly changing, the chameleon's constantly changing, and this kind of looks like it's 3D. Now what we can do from here is we can apply sound effects, we could add in a lip sync, or we could reuse this for another video. Now I did this in 9x16, but you'll actually be able to customize this and make it whatever you want. Again, if you come into create right here, you will then be able to click on videos, you'll be able to click on Google VO2, and this is where you can actually type in your prompts, or you can get inspired now getting inspiration here is actually pretty incredible because this is going to allow you to actually create better prompts because you can get a feel for how this tool actually naturally wants to be prompted. In addition to that, if you click on this right here, it's going to enhance your prompt with AI. Right now, you can't go past more than five seconds with video with this, but you can do either nine by 16 or 16 by nine, and it took literally just a few minutes in order to create something in here. And this is going to completely change the movie industry. This is going to change TV shows. This is going to change content on social media because this is an amazing tool in order to create B-roll about whatever you want that is going to look as realistic as humanly possible. Now, before I show you exactly how this tool wants to be prompted and a bunch of different examples of crazy things that people have already created with this tool, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to learn about the latest and greatest AI tools and exactly how to use them, you're not going to want to miss any videos that I upload. So the next thing that I actually wanted to show off to you with this tool is how this tool actually wants to be prompted. And we can see this by using this AI enhancer right here. So if I just would have typed in here something along the lines of make me a chameleon, guess what this tool would have done? It wouldn't have given me a very good video. But if I instead come in here and click enhance prompt with AI and click on this, look at how this transforms this prompt. And this is pretty mind blowing right here. This made this prompt incredibly long. Why? Because this tool wants you to give it as much detail as humanly possible. Let's read through this now. Create a vibrant and detailed image of a chameleon perched on a branch in a lush tropical environment. The chameleon should display its characteristic color changing abilities, showcasing a gradient of bright greens, blues, and yellows. The background should feature a blurred depth of field, emphasizing the chameleon while hinting at the rich foliage and dappled sunlight filtering through the leaves. Incorporate subtle movements such as the gentle swaying of a branch and the flickering of the chameleon's tongue as it catches an insect. And then this keeps going on and on. This is how you should actually be prompting this tool because if you do not prompt it like that, it is going to give you some really bad images. Now I was just on X and some of the things that people have created with this are nuts. For example, if we watch through this trailer video right here, all of this right here has been created with this new VO tool which literally just came out. All of these things are nuts. It's amazing at making humans, at making jewelry. It's amazing at making bags, nature, animals. 
This tool is absolutely insane. I cannot emphasize enough how much of a game changer this is going to be. And I also wanted to emphasize that with free pick AI suite, and by the way, this video, I have nothing to do with them. I'm just showing you guys how cool of a tool VO2 is because it just came out from Google. But this also, there's a reason that Google partnered with them because this tool is pretty insane. You can generate images in here. You could reimagine images. You can do a sketch to an image. You can upscale images. You can expand them. You can retouch them. And you can even change the background here. Now, if we come down here, you can see all of the different things that people in the community have created. This stuff is absolutely insane. And you could even reuse some of these images and edit them if you wanted to. Or you could come over here and you could actually search through a bunch of different things. For example, if we come into fashion right here, this is going to show off all of the different fashion that has been created with this tool. I mean, do you know how much money somebody would have had to pay in the past in order to get a model to wear this or something along the lines of that? It's absolutely insane. So if we come in and create right here, I want to show off a few of these other things. You could describe an image or you could upload an image and then get this to actually create something off of that. Or what you could do is come into here and you can change all of the different modes and all of the different models that you could use. You could do Classic, Flux, Google Imagine 3, or you could do Mystic and they all do different things. You could add in different characters in here. You could add in different effects. You can add in different styles. And if you come under here, it gets more advanced than just the color. You could change what kind of camera it's on. You could change the lighting of it. You can literally Anything that you can imagine, you can create in this tool when it comes to images, and you can edit them in this tool when it comes to images. So, for example, what we're going to do right here is we're going to come in and we're going to use this Get Inspiration feature in order to show off something that this tool could create. So we're going to click on Get Inspiration here, and this said to create a dangerous Black Panther animal, green leaves, green eyes, jungle portrait, hyper-realistic, professional, with documental photography, and a diffused pale light. So I'm going to click Generate right here. What this is going to do is go ahead and generate several of them. Now. We could have changed this by changing this right here, and we can also change this by using a different mode here or by doing something different in terms of inspiration and things along the lines of that. Now look at this. This is crazy. Let's say that I was going to be creating a video where I was talking about a Black Panther. I might want to use this. Or if I was telling a story and there was something that I was saying in the story that I didn't have a photo for, now I can actually get that to be created. And this is insane. I really cannot emphasize how important this is because in the past, you would have only been able to use what stock footage has been created or what stock photos have been created. But now you can use this tool to generate insane images and insane videos. Now the other feature that's in here that's pretty incredible is if we come into reimagine right here, this is going to allow us to basically recreate images. Like I uploaded this headshot photo of myself and then asked it to reimagine me and I actually had AI make this prompt. Now let's say that we wanted to do something else. We're gonna get rid of that ugly headshot photo of me and what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload a white Ferrari. Now what you would do is do this with some type of stock image or with something that you wanted to change. So I'm going to put this in here and then this is going to generate a prompt based on my image. And again, we could change the mode, we could change the style, we could change what the imagination looks like, and we could actually change what different size this is going to be. And this literally knew what kind of Ferrari this was. This is a Ferrari Testarossa parked in front of a green hedge, and it knew exactly that. But I'm actually gonna change this silver, I'm gonna make this red, I'm gonna click reimagine. Now look at this, this is absolutely incredible. This is now going to show me a reimagined image of the Ferrari. The only thing that it didn't do correctly was it didn't make it red. Now, what I could do from here is I can actually get it to do it again. For example, I'm gonna click on reimagine again, and maybe I need to change something in here, like maybe there's a spacing that actually caused an issue. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click this again, and see if this actually fixes this. Now, we can also, boom, there we go. This actually fixes this right here. So this showed it red, or I can come into each of these and I can actually use these for a style reference, for a prompt, or for a video. For example, let's say this red one right here, I'm gonna click create a video based off of this. And now what we're gonna be able to do 
is this is going to come in here and this is going to give me the perfect prompt based on what that image was. So this says, push in on the car, fo focusing on its sleek design, contours, et cetera, et cetera. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click generate, and now this is actually going to create me a video based on the image that I created. Do you guys see how crazy this is? You are going to be able to create whatever type of images you want, whatever type of videos you want, and you aren't going to need to actually go out and create these things. It is simply going to get created on demand by using a tool like this. Now, one other thing that I did want to show you that's along the lines of this simply because I often don't upload videos about different video editing tools or image editing tools is now there's another AI tool where you can actually swap anything in and out of an image. Check this out. What I'm talking about here is using this tool right here, Pika.art. Essentially what this allows you to do is swap certain things in and out of videos. For example, if we come down to this video right here, this was just a normal car, but they recreated it as a car riding on donuts. This was a river, but they recreated it as a flowing mound of lava. This was somebody sitting in class and they put their cat's head on top of them. This is a robot dog that they put in the snow. And I have seen so many other examples of really, really cool things that people have done in this and so many different things. And the opportunities with this are endless, but this is really scary because how are we gonna know what's real and what's fake if I could put Tom Brady right next to me or if I could get rid of this water bottle where somebody else could and put a beer can and they're gonna think that I'm sitting here drinking and making this video. Now, if you thought this video was crazy, you need to check out this video right here that walks you through how to use Proxy's new generalist AI agent that can actually automate any task for you. It's insane and you could get started with it for free. Check out this video right here and it explains everything.